guys, we're, we're right by Dyer Lane right now. This place is very haunted. There's been a lot of uh, strange activity that's gone up here, gone on here over the years. And uh, basically, there's been a lot of uh, reports of witches that would have meetings here. And then, uh, yeah, there's, uh, because of the witches, there, this place is cursed. So we gotta watch out. And there's a lot of dark entities that have been reported here, as long as, as well as uh, UFOs. Right now, we're with the crew. We're walking down Dyer's Lane. Dyer Lane. Spirits, are you here? Hey, when cars drive by, don't say shit to them. Yeah, no, dude. Come on, shit, got him. Come on, connect the tank. Come on, no, no. Carson, put the flashlight on. We can find Matthew 13. What the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. No, this place is fucked. Man, we're out of here now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, put that shit. Hey, put, 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 put me on your snap story. Put me on your snap story. Can someone pick it up? Wait, who's that light over here? Oh no, that's a doll you don't fucking <laughs> What if there was a place of darkness? A place cursed throughout history, growing stronger throughout time. What if there was a place with so much evil? that it could not be contained? What if life itself was no limit for this evil? Now, what if I told you this place was real? Welcome to Dire Lane Beyond Paranormal. For over a thousand generations, Sacramento, California has been home to more sightings of mysterious phenomena than anywhere else in the world. What the hell is that? Now, a hardcore team of elite paranormal investigators is out to solve these mysteries using advanced scientific research methods. Scientific research, 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 scientific research. Nothing will stand in their way to find the truth. They are the scientific researchers of the unknown. Getting ready for the return to Dyer Lane. We have like our tailgate right now going on for a pre-investigation. Pre-game meal. Got the chicken. Oh, my phone's ringing. It's a business call. Oh, it's the yeah. homie Brandon. My, I have chicken on my hand, so I can't answer. Oh, hello. There he is. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear the, the legend of Dyer Lane? Yeah. So, it all started, there were a bunch of, there were three witches that would meet every day, every night at Dyer Lane and perform their uh, magic, their witch magic. And there were these boys one day decided they were gonna try to kill the witches. <laughs> and so then, was it something sexy? So then they killed the witches, but the witches put some chicken already. A curse on Dire Lane. And the, all three of them died because of the curse. Well, ever since then, 
Ireland is still cursed. There's a bunch of crazy stuff that's happened there. Uh, the police tried to go there, and they went missing. So there's a police ghost, ghost police car, and um, also a bunch of um, demons are there, and there's a farmer that fell off of his tractor and died. Ready? It's like a two mile road. It goes like, th like, look at my fingers. Scared. It looks like this. Yo, a 90 degree <laughs> That's like how the road goes. There's a 90 the degree turn that there's a tree right there. Oh, a bunch of people have died from crashing in there, that tree. Hello, guys. This is um, the investigation of Dyer Lane. This is our return to Dyer Lane. That's kind of scary. We're looking for paranormal, any paranormal activity because last time we were here, we found a lot. I have this camera that's on me right now talking. It's like my little personal thing. <laughs> All right, let's continue the video here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Kalik. Welcome back to Dyer Lane. As you can see here, we have multiple... Uh, I last mentioned that this was a devil symbol. Any liquid that pours on this, it is satanic. Any liquid, any mark that pours on this or over the symbol is going to be affiliated with that person and it's going to be cursing that person for the rest of life for eternity <laughs> therefore this road is to not be disturbed this road has a had a huge history i'm getting readings guys oh, oh. Dude, dude, we're getting readings on the emf hey carson you might want to turn your light off those could drain your battery to the dust we got a little part of the tree also ripped out here in the, in the shape of some spear some type of blade there's, or some type of dagger right possibly uh being uh, the murder the weapon tree. for some type of murder or some type of uh, strange conflict Shame. going on. <laughs> we have a two. We do not know what that represents, but that could be something that very could mean bad. A lot perhaps, of things. perhaps. Yeah. I think these markings on the tree definitely signify that someone has died in this particular area, and that and is cursed. Are you kind of creeped out right now? You know, I'm, I'm super spooked, but you know, there's ghosts here, and we we know of it because of this tree. Yeah. Yeah. Follow me, Rick. Let's go. Hey, dude. Brandon. Yeah. Right here, right here. Did you see that? Did you see that? We're getting greetings on the EMF reader. You saw that? Yeah. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. Right here. Whoa. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, one rule I must state is never, never ghost hunt alone. I must emphasize that, and I need to stress that more than anything else. That is the number one rule. Especially in a location with as much like this rock. stuff going on as here. Matt, stop being such a f***ing wimp. Yeah, Matt, Matt's a wimp. Oh, okay, this they one. didn't fill in, they filled in the star so it has no more power. If you left it empty, now that's a pentagon, so. Should I put on my story? Yeah, you guys see that? Walking along? I... I wait. Do we got everybody here? Hey, let's cross over. Yo, do we? No, do we got everybody here? Because I think I just saw someone walk along the ridge line over there. I'm dead serious. Did you get it on video? No, I was looking here, but I looked up and I saw someone walk along this ridge line. All right, let's go. Guys, Carson, Carson, be, tell everybody to be quiet. Be quiet. Hear car racing, but oh, <laughs> Yo, what you that guys, be quiet, be quiet. Listen, I told you. Shut up. Listen, oh, shut up. Shut up. stop, 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 stop. Let's go try to make contact. seriously. Shut up, guys. You'll hear it. That's power line. <laughs> That's the power line. As we are studying the mysterious noise. Some sort of spirit manifests itself in front of us and flies in front of the camera. As you can see here, it appears to be some sort of orb that is flying around in front of the camera.
Bible. Uh, Tim 1 7. This is a Bible verse. Somebody look it Tim up. 1 7. I'll look it up when we're It looks like 11. So. All right, all right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, guys, we are going to do. <laughs> Wait, X? Is this an X? Yo, guys. That's an X or a plus mark. Or a cross. Oh, no, that's a cross. <laughs> Get out of this one or not? I don't know. But this is what dedication to paranormal looks like. Sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's gonna be scary, but you just gotta do it anyway. Shine the light on it, it could interfere. It's my bad. Don't shine the light. Don't shine That's the light. my bad. Yeah. Oh, do you spirits know? They sound angry because they answered before. Dude, let's leave. Yes. You're I all right. Think if you can. We, if, what is, we if got there two. Are any spirits here. What are those two things can you there? move the entire EMF detector? No, no, no. If there's any spirits here, please, please show us. Turn the light off. Please show that. This will start flicker. Okay, flicker a lot. Just flicker a lot. There's. Maybe they've moved on. Let's go. I think they're tired of us. Oh my god. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. All right. This pole is literally vibrating. Hey, 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 hey. Justice Yo, is it? Yeah. Yo, let's put those speakers of the camera on. Wait, stick the thing to it. Oh my god, it is. Guys, this this pole is literally vibrating right now. Dude, it's vibrating. I can't feel my pancreas, but I'm feeling some weird stuff going on with these ghosts. I know, I, I can say myself that I've gotten some weird chills since we've gotten here. I myself have been hunting ghosts for like the past 20 years and I've never seen anything like this before. Well, we're, we're very um, uh, honored that you could join us on our investigation. I'm, I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad to be alive, actually. I, I've had many close run-ins with ghosts and... I, I, I'd like to personally thank you because I used to watch a lot of your episodes and that, that's what gave me the survival uh, abilities guy. to survive all of these guy. situations I've been in. That's why I do it. Thank you. No problem. See you guys? That's why it's all worth it. It's not about the money. It's not about the fame. That's what it's all about right there. And it's about protecting you guys from the paranormal. My thigh just started burning out of nowhere. Sorry. Wait. Your thigh? Yeah, like right here just started. Hold on. I'm okay. Are you sure? I'm fine. Bro. I'm fine. This could it? possibly be from the old barn. There was a barn here and uh, a family lived in the barn. Obviously, it's old. We have a suspicious could be car. Could a possible coming. murder weapon. Uh, we've got a fast moving car. Maybe he's fleeing from the scene of a crime because this is. This tree is known for murders. Look at this. This seems odd, oddly suspicious. Oddly <laughs> placed. Why would this be here? Why wait, wait, wait. Wait, Carson, look at this, look at this. Hey guys, take this and put it across there. That's a crucifix. This road is cursed take that also. one and put it on hey, there. Guys, guys, guys. I That's need to a cross. This road is cursed that if you take anything from this road, you will actually be cursed yeah. for the rest hey, of your life as well. Brandon, look at this. Yeah, make sure you guys don't take anything. What would this be used for? If you take this piece of wood and put it on that piece of wood, that's a cross. Exactly. A detail prop up. A new member of our group of scientific research and Maybe. has found what could have possibly been a crucifixion site for uh, many victims. Uh, you, perhaps, you, perhaps it has some correspondence to that too, or some coordinates. Right, guys, I found another wood plank. <laughs> oh sh! Oh sh! That's a snake. It's a snake. Everybody, get back! Get back! Oh, get That's back. actually a snake. That's actually. Snake. I don't know what to feel about this, guys. We're getting a lot of evidence and data right now, and we're going to collect it. And this is only step one of the investigation, because step two is we're going to have to bring this all into the lab and process the data and figure out what conclusions we can make out of it. Some weird noises coming over here. I'm leaving the group behind. I'm going out on my own. What? Well, uh, I know I'm breaking one of the major SIROTUBE rules of paranormal, but sometimes it- Whoa, what is that? I'm getting some chills, but I'm gonna keep going. Usually, 
These chills are a warning. Hunting, fishing, tra trapping, or trespassing for any purpose is strictly forbidden. Violators will be prosecuted. So sometimes ghost hunting has its limits. Private property, hunting, fishing, trapping. Cool. Dude, I just saw a flash of light right there. There was something glowing right there. Right behind that pole right there, there was something glowing. No, right behind that pole right there, there was something glowing right here. I'm not even joking. Something wanted us to come here. Right to this spot, something happened. And as I'm saying this, I'm getting chills down my spine. I think, what could this number mean? One of us should try dialing that number and calling it. But it's not enough numbers to call. You know what those numbers must mean. What is, what is this right here? What is that? Something dark over there. We have some sort of brush right here. Some shrubs. We got a pentagram with a six. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> wait, turn off the turn off the flashlights, guys. Turn off, turn off the lights. Turn off the turn lights. Off. Lights, everybody, out, lights everybody out. Everybody, lights out. Let's ask it some questions. Okay. If there is a spirit here, please make yourself known by making the lights on the EMF detector flash. Okay. What do we want to ask it? Were you killed here? Were you killed here? Were you killed here? If you were. Blink once. If you weren't, blink twice. Got one. Oh, that's one blink. It's a yes. Oh, we oh. got two. We have four blinks. What no, we have, we have five. Five counts of murder. We got five. five. Dude, that was Maybe two right there. It's five counts of murder. I think we have. I think we have multiple spirits Six, talking to us right now. Multiple Are you hugging these trees? Ask it. Ask if there's multiple spirits. Should I ask you? Are there multiple spirits here? Please, only one person answer, and we want one blink if it's yes. We have multiple blinks. So Dude, that's two. That they're must all mean trying to tell us that that's maybe two. they're all victims of hey. these trees. <laughs> do you, Blink, I ask if you, you don't do want, want us here. The detector to the center of that pentagram. I guess we'll 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 see. Well, we they, they want us here. It stops. They want us here. Oh. Look, we have these cracks in the road, and they're all leading up to this one point where it's growing some shrubbery. If we look close at it, it's kind of spiky. We don't know what that could mean. Some props, possibly some sort of symbolism. And this thing is shaking even more as I speak. It seems whenever I mention the paranormal, it starts shaking more. Now, I don't know how to explain this, and that is why it's called paranormal, because it's not normal. It's paranormal. And these are not your normal, everyday things. So what we're gonna do is, the rumor here is that if you stop the car on, there's three white X's on the road. When you stop your car on the X and turn off your engine, you cannot turn it back on. We have an electric tower here, so it could possibly interfere with the electromagnetic frequency meter. So we have to keep track of that. We have to gut, trust our gut more than the electromagnetic reader. It's Aiden. Yo, let me answer. Who's Aiden? The homie on our. Wait, that's a Tesla. Oh yeah, baby. Aiden. What's up? Have you seen anything? Cause like Dyer Lane is not right. That's where it starts. Yes. That's what I'm we saw the X. I was just going over there so I could turn around. Okay, sounds good. We we weren't sure what you were doing. Okay, we'll pull over when you pull over. Next. Once in a week. Is it next? No. Wait. Is it next? Alright, all right, we are on an X right now. Oh, 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 oh. Light, light, lights off, lights off, off, lights off. 
Uh, which one is that? It's the opposite side. Hey! All right. hey! How are you guys feeling about this so far? I have feet. Feeling good? Feeling a spirit, so. I feel you feel something? Yeah. There's oh, a car God. coming, it's so just, we're going to I feel a presence. Dude, your brother feels a presence, Carson. <laughs> There's a lot of presences here. My other car is like still Carson, not behind us anymore. Okay. Yo, did the did the ghost poop? Dude, go, 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 go! Dude, ah! where's Bella? Where's Bella? Where did Bella have to go? And now this car is gonna go. Oh, they're, 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 dude, they're pranking us. They are. Yeah, they took the lights back on. I might have just missed another X. <laughs> Shoot! Oh, Guys, whoa, 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 whoa! That was a black Shit. cat. A black cat just crossed. Oh, Yo, how did I miss Holy that? Ray, Ray, get that. Go, get closer a little bit. Slowly, slowly. Is it, it's still there. Ray, it's still there. Ray, you get, are you getting this? Where? It's still there. Right there. Oh, oh. it's stuck there. Oh, go! Dude, go! 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 Yeah. Did you right. see the eyes on that no, thing? It I looked didn't. like a Sith Lord. All right, I think we need to head back to back, HQ like and assess our um, findings. Let's, let's call them. Because I don't see another X. Let's go get some food, bro. Yeah, honestly, let's just go get some food. Let's just chill. I'm here. full. I'm like you. No, no, no. I know, but let's... And we continue to follow some breaking news out of Roseville. We told you about this a few moments ago. Crews are at the scene of a grass fire in Roseville. And uh, this flames uh, broke out along Watt Avenue and Dyer Lane. And these are some live pictures now from the scene. And uh, you can see, we know from what the fire department tells us, it's about 50 acres in size. And you can see there just from that tall grass that there's pretty decent wind out there right now too, Kelly. Yeah, that's the thing I keep hearing in this. And that oh, obviously is a big concern with the wind and just the dry grass out there. Again, and this is in Roseville, and it seems like, you know, firefighters are out there, but boy, this thing does not look good right now. So we're going to keep our eye on this. We know that CAL FIRE is at the scene along, scene along with help from Roseville Fire Department. Again, about 50 acres, and we have a photographer that's bringing us these live pictures right now. So hopefully we get a good update here by the end of the show. Yeah, we can see some firefighters there that, uh, you know, had their hoses trained on those flames, and hopefully they get knocked down quickly. Okay guys, so the investigation today is we're going back to Dyer Lane. There was a fire that happened there. It burned down the whole area, over a hundred acres, guys. Do you understand how big that is? It's pretty big. Uh, uh, it's very big. It's, you know, unknown. Major. So listen, the cause is unknown. The reason unknown. we were going back there is because we're scientific researchers of the unknown. 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 That's correct. The reason we're going, no, the reason camera on me. The reason we're going back there is because we're gonna find. Look at we're gonna find. You understand we're gonna find? Thank you. We're gonna All right. Uh hey, look. We're gonna find what's going on. We're gonna find out what's going on. Who caused this fire? I don't give you some damn secret. The cause is unknown. It's our job, okay? You don't see other people doing this out there. That's why we're here, okay? We have to get a quick uh, pre-investigation meal. Uh, we're hitting up the local 7-Eleven. Welcome back to Dyer Lane. We saw what became a strange occurrence of incidents. Fall into something strange, even more inexplicable than ever before. Just right over there. A fire, as you right can see, there. a fire had occurred here, burning more than a hundred acres around the area of Dyer Lane. However, not burning Dyer Lane directly. The cause was unknown. We are here to discover the reason for that cause. The 
The date is June 30th. As you can see, we have a ton of junk here. These are the past fallen victims. What the hell is that? Others. Another people. We had to move some of it out of the way just to park here. All right, we have a lot of lost car parts, sofa, uh, chairs and couches and all this and that. There's some trees. We have less trees, in fact, than what we did last year. There's definitely something going last on. Last time here. we were here, these car parts weren't here. And the thing was picking up on coffin <laughs> and all of, like, dead stuff like that. So what I'm thinking is an occurrence appeared where someone crashed their car here and then started the fire right yeah and then the as a ghost they started the fire because they were really mad what is all this stuff what could have ripped this what could have ripped this tailgate in half what kind of creature could do this what kind of creature could rip up a car like the front no because the dents like the grooves it's not big enough what kind of what kind of creature it is, it is, because look, this is where it goes in the wait no it's not. Is it? I have a theory. Are there any claw marks on it? However, some things are, are really wait, unknown. What's it? Oh, there's claw marks. Davis? Ooh, who's this? This was Davis a creature. Hawking. Yeah. This was a creature that ripped up this car, I think. Because look, there's claw marks on it. Look, right here. There's claw oh, marks right here. Is that claw marks? <laughs> Some that sort of some whoa. Sort, some side whoa, of no, there was something pressure. over there. What the hell was that? No, guys, are you? I'm serious. There was literally guys, 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 guys. What, what the hell was that? Seriously. What is? Wait, shine the light over here. What is this thing? Wow. I'm just dumbfounded about what is that? What kind of creature could make a car into just a pile of scraps? There, I don't think we're dealing with just ghosts here. I think we're dealing with some sort of. Did you hear that? Wait, wait, is that? A, guys, guys, I think this is a mattress. Come here, come here. A notepad. Open it, open it. There might be writing. All right. Wait, Brandon, what about your notepad you were gonna bring? Oh, guys, it, I got a scientific uh, a record theory. of the end. It appears. Oh, nope. Oh. It has it has writing. No way, it's writing? Okay, hold on. Guys, it has writing. We can see the last I can film it, you read it. Um, this is actual, it looks this is to be a legible. This is actual evidence that we have a victim. Is that no, you hear that bark, bro? It's not, what take it with us, this is evidence. Take it with us in the car. 209. As you can see, there is some sign of retaliation because there's some wet, wet marks here and some like, you know, folds and creases. Yeah. We can ask him what kind of creep. This What's is- kind of interesting, it was on the car parts. Um, CSO. CSO Rosie was mentioned on the last page. You have an email here. Cor Corriar at Modesto PD. Dot com. Dot com. Wow. Someone all the way from Modesto. That is a good app. This is this good this is a key clue that we can use on our investigation of Dire Link. No, film me. Alright. We're, this is the obelisk. Why is that car just sitting there? The hey, eye obelisk. Hey, why is that car just sitting there with the lights on? They're not Wait, let it focus. Let me just move the camera. Okay, this is the eye obelisk. It's, not it's a, it's a paranormal handheld device that uh, spirits are able to communicate words through here. So we're gonna turn it on and see what kind of words come up. Obelisk on. Uh, if there's any spirit, remove, remove knit, remove knit. So like. Maybe it was a ghost that like likes to knit. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell us? Anything other than remove? What do you think that could? What does that mean? It, well, I think remove means it doesn't want us here. Yeah, bro. We can see the freaking ticket, bro. Yo. Guys, let's go closer. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna keep this okay. on. I'm gonna keep this on. My yeah, hands. What are we gonna do when it comes out? Wait, my I'm hands are weapons, dog. Like, my hands are weapons. That looks kind of dope. I'm gonna keep the obelisk on. My hands are weapons. I'm giving it the one two may weapon. Yeah, guys, guys, <laughs> you guys flashlight. Get, get a couple flashlights, Matt. Get so some how, flashlight. how how I'm more of a Pacquiao guy myself. How close was it? Cause what, oh, oh guys, guys, what does this say? It says shoes. No, no, it says shoes. Strange. Strange. Wait, strange figure running this is strange. I don't know. Guys, 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 point the light on this. Point the light on this. Can we dip, bro? Guys, guys, point the light on this for the live video. Uh. 
range and shoes. Brandon, you're gonna be the first one snatched, uh, dog. Is it one of our shoes? Guys, crouch down. Okay. Fear. 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 Oh sh! It's Shit. a fear. Matt, stop. Is somebody here scared? I'm, I'm scared. scared. We're all scared. Okay, that's I'm you guys. Let's go. Let's go. So this is fear. guys. Intention. Oh my god, bro. Dude, I don't know. Can we leave? What do you have the intention can we, to do? Can we leave? What do you have the intention to do? Kill. <laughs> okay. Camera. Oh, this oh, f***ing oh, oh, Let's get back in the f***ing car. Oh, 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 It says it can measure our telepathy. What? It says it's measuring our telepathy. So this is all right. This is evidence right here that ghosts are telepathic. Oh, Guys, we, can we get a light on right now? Jesus Christ! That person. Turn your car on. We need to get a Turn light. Turn your lights on, bro. Oh, this is probably Val. Yeah. Bro, away. Tell her not to get out. Oh, just as she pulled up, it said away. Yo, go, 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 bro. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's tell Dude, it wants us we to leave. I'm turning this thing off. I'm turning. Dude, same, bro. I need to get out of here. I've never been more scared in my life. <laughs> we can't hear it. Oh, wait, wait, hey, wait. It's a white hell, though. Well, should we listen to it? Dude, we need to go back and drive by and see what What if it's trying to NWA, trick us, NWA, though? Why exactly. do we know if this is a good spirit or a. Digging. Oh, shh! Somebody's been digging stop here. freaking out every single time. They're digging our graves. Prop. Sorry. Guys. Dude, we got glasses. Guys, somebody point the light to it. The glass or yeah. Look at this. Oh wait, no. It's like it's like, it's like a, a ceramic glass combination. Like. Did you just hear that? Yeah. Did you just hear that? Dude, it's so dark up there, bro. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Seriously, I will punch you. I had to. Warn him. I'm sorry. Why warned Did you, you actually hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that was sorry. creepy. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like a fire. There's some there, weird guys. noises Dude, out here. Look how dark it is that way, bro. You can't okay. see shit. You can't see shit that no, way. I, I just no, got no surgery. Oh, so oh dude, my bad. No, no, you got no surgery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got laces. That's why I have to wear these glasses. Uh, After our multiple investigations to Dyer Lane, we can conclude that this place should not be visited by anyone who is not an expert in paranormal research. Thank you for watching our show, and we'll see you on the next season of The Scientific Researchers of the Unknown. Scientific research, 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 scientific research. I'll be doing scientific research of the unknown. Now we scientific leaders in the lab. I got the